Lynn did not die as a result of any cancer. Lynn died from extreme toxin poisoning from one cycle of chemotherapy. Other poisons are available from your local oncologist. 5FU, an odd choice of letters to have used, but I think that perhaps it was an in-house joke by the drug company. Lynn unknowingly suffered with something called DPYD enzyme deficiency. The DPYD enzyme is how the human body breaks down the toxins created by the drugs and helps to keep you alive whilst undergoing chemotherapy. You should at this stage be asking yourself, do I have that enzyme? Please rest assured, the doctors have no idea. They don't offer a test on the NHS. They don't offer you the chance of a private test. It's not suggested by the oncology doctors that you seek the test privately before you are given what may well be a lethal dose of a drug that doctors are telling you will save your life. And all because of a 60 pound test that isn't offered, you aren't given any information about, and which you can't have in the UK, but is mandatory in France. Lynn did everything right. She always took advantage of all the screening programs available. Bowel screening, breast screening, cervical smear testing, you name it, Lynn had it. She would have had DPYD tests had one been available, or if it had been offered. It wasn't, and she lost her life because of it. She trusted doctors implicitly, as do we all. Well, not me, not anymore. So consider this for a moment. If we all stopped having chemotherapy, then oncologists would be out of work. They would become just another doctor. Within just four days of her colon surgery, Lynn was back at home. Just four days after that, she was out walking with me and our dog. And within a couple of weeks, she was a bouncing around the house like Tigger on speed telling me of all the things she wanted to get done in her garden, which she loved, and which I'm ashamed to say, I have let go very badly. I cannot stress strongly enough that Lynn was perfectly healthy until she had just one treatment of chemotherapy. Just one cycle. Was that chemotherapy even needed? Her last words to me, before it became almost impossible for her to speak, were, what have they done to me, darling? That is all I'm left with, as my wife's last words to me. That and the eternal feeling that I never did enough for her, or what I did do wasn't done quickly enough. That is the legacy the doctors have left me with. So, if free bowel screening is available in your area, then use it. If it's not, then pay for it privately, as it could save a loved one's life. And always research everything before agreeing to undergo any procedure. I'm on a crusade now to get the information out about DPYD and I need to get it to the general public as a whole. Things must change and they are. I'm told by one of the manufacturers of the testing kit that some have been ordered by the very hospital involved in Lynn's death just a few days after she died. Her death did that. The estimate for deaths from chemotherapy poisoning for 2017-18 was 10,000 in the UK alone. And they're the ones where it was listed as cause of death on the death certificate. 
as opposed to just saying that they died of some kind of cancer. How many more go unrecorded? 